Okay, so today we're going to talk about equations. The difference between an equation and an expression is an equal sign. This is an example of an equation. That's an example of an equation. And that's an example of an equation, and we're actually going to get to be solving those later on today. But I want you to remember that it always has an equal sign. So, to solve an equation, you have to think of an equation like a balance. If you have something on this side, in order for the equation to stay balanced, you have to have the same thing on both sides. So if you take something off on this side, it would have to come off for it to stay balanced. Your equations must stay balanced. Now, to start working with equations, you need to know the golden rule of equations. And the golden rule says, what you do to one side, you must do to the other. What you do to one side, you must do to the other. Go ahead and hit pause and copy that down. Okay, so today we're going to talk about one, two, and distributive property. One step equations require one step to solve them. There's two types, the addition ones and the multiplication and division ones. Now, our ultimate goal is to get our variable by itself. Right now, my variable has a plus 10 added to it. I need to get rid of that. How would I do that? Well, you do what's called its opposite inverse. No, it's additive inverse. What's the opposite of a uh, positive 10? A negative 10. So you do that, but you do it to both sides. So here, these cancel out. What's left to come down? <clears throat> X, and then what's 16 minus 10? 6 and you're done. Check it. What's 6 plus 10? 16. Now yeah, I know that you can solve these in your head, but we're only starting off with baby steps until we get to our marathon questions. So right now I'm going to show you the proper way to do it. All right, let's try some. x plus 5 equals negative 7. What am I going to do to get rid of that plus 5? Subtract 5. These cancel out x equals, now this is a negative 7 and a negative 5. Combine them, what do you get? A negative 12. Okay, this one's a little different. On this one, what do I need to get rid of? A minus 7, how do I get rid of that? Plus 7 to both sides, so x equals 9. You try this one. So I'm going to add 7.3. X equals. Now, <clears throat> one's negative, one's positive, and you have to, that means you subtract them. I'm going to rewrite them. This gives me two. 3.2, is it positive or negative? I had more positive, so my answer is positive. The next part is the multiplication part, and that's when you have 3x equals 9. Now, in order to get rid of a multiplication problem, you do its opposite as well. This is a 3, so to get rid of it, I would divide by 3. What you do to one side, you must do to the other. Now what happened, what's 3 over 3 actually equal? 1. So these cancel out. x equals, what's 9 divided by 3? Three? 3. Check it. What's 3 times that? 3 times 3? Three? 9. You're good. Alright, let's try another one. Hit pause. All 
All right, I'm gonna divide by four, x equals nine. What if it's negative? Either one. If this is negative, you still have to divide by a negative. So I divide this by a negative. The only reason I have to divide by a negative is so they cancel each other out equally. So that leaves me with x equals, what's negative 30 divided by negative 2? A positive 15. Okay, so that was the easiest part. Let's go into two-step equations. And don't forget, we're going to do lots of practice on this. Okay, so a two-step equation looks like this where you do an adding and subtracting part or a multiplying and dividing part. Remember, our ultimate goal is to get our variable by itself. What we want to do is get rid of plus 6 first. You always get rid of your whole numbers first in a two-step equation. So I'm going to subtract 6 here and subtract 6 here. That's going to leave me with 9x equals, well, what's 51 minus 6? 45. Now what do I do? Divide both sides by 9, and x equals 5. All right, so let's look at this one. Working this out, I'm going to add 4 to both sides. 8x equals 32. I'm going to divide by 8, and x equals 4. Try another one. Okay, I'm going to add 4 to both sides. Negative 8x equals 12. Now you may be saying this isn't going to work out right. Well, you're right, it's not going to work out right. If I divide both sides by negative 8, 8 won't go into 12 evenly. So I know my answer is going to be negative, and it's going to be a negative fraction. For equations, you, no decimals are allowed unless it starts with a decimal. So you're going to leave this as a fraction in reduced form. And that would be negative 3 over 2 or negative 1 and 1 half. All right, let's try one more of these. Okay, so I'm going to add 18. Negative 6x. Let's see, negative 132 minus 18. It's going to give me negative 114. Divide by negative 6. Negative divided by negative is going to give me a positive. 6 goes into 11 one time with 5 left over. 6 goes into 54, 19. Okay. You couldn't even see that. <laughs> All right. So you're going to go and do the practice for this. Make sure you take the quizzes. And then we're going to do the second part of the lesson in just a minute.